Before the Ice Age, there was Charlie's Magic Bicycle. Before the Neanderthal, before dinosaurs, before the mosquito got trapped in amber, before the first lungfish, before the trilobite, before the brachiopod and encephalopod, long before one-celled organisms floated in the alphabet soup of ocean, before water, before lightning, before carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, prior to the formation of the stars, the big shebang, the a priori hoedown, there was Charlie's magic bicycle. The bicycle that spoke the wheel into breath. The bicycle that created language out of spokes and chains. That painted the first cave. That rode Moses over to the promised land. The bicycle that destroyed Troy. That whispered the words into Homer's ear that he sang around the fires at midnight. The holy bicycle of the Roman Empire. Same one Nero rode while he played the fiddle and did wheelies around the flame. Apple, schmapple, Newton fell off Charlie's magic bicycle and declared gravity. Washington rode it across the Delaware. Lincoln recited the Gettysburg Address from its handlebar. Woody Guthrie rode it backwards across the prairie with tarot cards flapping in the spokes. Hitler tried to build a copy and save the thousand year Reich and failed. You cannot duplicate Charlie's magic bicycle. The bicycle is working on a cure for cancer and the common cold and will probably someday win the Nobel Peace Prize. All hail Charlie's magic bicycle, the left eye of the unnameable. All hail. For when Charlie rides the magic bicycle, it has the power of 10,000 gods. And anywhere it goes will be a truly holy place.